Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thomas Te Party, the Ghanaian, who has attracted interest from top clubs and most notably Arsenal, have been the favorite to sign the Ghanaian. It has been an interesting couple of weeks talking about him and his possible transfer to the Ghanas. But it has hit a bit of a snag and with any transfer news or any transfer rumor, we all know this was about to happen. According to reports, Atletico Madrid have given Thomas Partey double his salary and a new contract extension which looks more lucrative than he was asking for initially. It was reported that he had not agreed to sign the contract contract extension with Atletico Madrid when it was offered but this new offer is much more juicy. We are going to look at the timeline of events that led us to this point where we are now talking about possibly Thomas Partey not moving to Arsenal once again. We're also going to talk about Ghanaian player Kudus Mohamed who last season just ended was playing for Nordscherland in Denmark. That Ghanaian is also set to make a move from Nordscherland to Ajax. As usual, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, we all know the story about Thomas Partey and his possible move uh, to Arsenal. It began with manager Mikel Arteta making it well aware that Arsenal needed a change up in midfield. Matteo Guendouzi was deemed to be surplus to requirements recently it was reported that Guendouzi had been training alone and Arsenal are ready to offload him. He doesn't make the cut in the eyes of the Ghana's hierarchy and the coach does things agrees with that. Also Torreira who is also a Ghana has not been consistent enough uh, to be the guy to lead Arsenal in midfield and fast forward to Thomas Te Party. Now, Thomas Partey has become the person of interest for a lot of top clubs initially. It was Chelsea, Manchester United and Arsenal. As time went on, Arsenal became the front runners. But this quote from the player's agent in late last year said that there is a 50 million euro clause within the contract. A figure that's cheap for a player like Thomas. I can say right now I haven't talked to anyone even if Inter is a top club. This is what Thomas Party said when speaking to ESPN during the time. At the moment, I am happy with my club, but in football, you never know when and where you will be in the next day or the next year. The Premier League is a good league. It's very competitive and has some of the best players in the world, he said. Hopefully one day, I would like to play there. My agents are on it, and so I will leave everything for them. For me, I am happy playing football and I will continue to play where I want until something ha comes up for consideration. His father, I brought you that story, also made a comment in reference to Thomas Partey's move to the Premier League, hinting a move. He said, I personally told him to move on if he is not, not wanted at where he is right now because he might be wanted somewhere else and so he would like to move to England if he gets the chance. Later on, according to the Guardian, Arsenal made contact with Thomas Te Party. And owing to that and the talks heating up, Thomas Party posted a statement on his Instagram by his representatives JJ Sport. He said, quick note, that was the post. In the midst of transfer period, a lot of stories are created, manufactured, also alleged until the final day of the transfer period mostly adds up to the hype and promotion of the, ben of the beautiful game. Father of Thomas Partey might have said something, but we can put everything aside and respect the communication of his management, JJS Sports. At this period, a lot of persons, some media personnel, in search of exclusive story, would want to pr produce uh, conversations around just to suit the agenda. The fact is that any statement heard was an opinion clearly misinterpreted to suit a particular agenda. There have been nothing officially communicated or no such conversations between the player and anybody. There is absolutely no truth in what the 
players that had allegedly said we wish the media and all fans to embrace the official message from the player's agent and not any family member or friend we are not in normal times let's keep believing everything will get back to normal and football will take its place once more in the hearts of many thank you team thomas party so in a q a with a demarzio who is a popular guy on twitter he brings out transfer rumors and mostly he is right demarzio in a q a with sky sports said Arsenal wants Thomas party, so it depends on a lot the offer Atletico are hoping to selling every player and the, if the offer is good. It also depends on how much Arsenal can afford and how much Atletico wants. So the story went on and re- there were various reports that Atletico Madrid then Arsenal had gone to an agreement and that possibly his agent was in the UK to tie up the deal. And now we are here talking about a possible contract extension. So much hype around it. There was a point in time there were talks that Liverpool were open to an Alex Osley Chamberlain move for th- exchange for Thomas Party. Also, there was that talk of Lacazette also being involved in this transfer deal. COVID-19 has impacted the fans of many top clubs, and this was one of the ways they thought Arsenal could fund the move. The teammate hint by Kasim Nuhu as well, who also said the Premier League is a top club and he feels that Thomas Apate should be making that move. He said the Premier League is the best league in the world, so if he joins Arsenal, I will be happy. So many fans across social media living up to the hype, talking about Thomas Apate moving to Arsenal, and now it has hit a bit of a snag. As with any transfer news or transfer rumor, this was about to happen at some point in time we all know what happened when arsenal made a bid for luis suarez and they added just one pound to it so many instances arsenal fans thought they were going to sign players and it did not happen i think atletico madrid saw the value of the player they had and realized that they couldn't let him just go like that atletico madrid saw that they had a treasure in Thomas Tepati. They could not just let him go, not for any price. So now the Gunners unfortunately have to deal with the fact that they might probably not be able to sign Thomas Tepati. The contract offer that was given to the Ghanaian is as follows. Party, who is currently on a $65,000 transfer fee, has had it increased, doubled actually. And that has really increased his release clause from 44 million pounds to 87.2 million according to the report from ghana soccer net the Ghanaian has decided to stay put at the wanda metropolitano where he has spent bulk of his senior career by loan spells at mallorca in almeria the reports indicate that his representatives and atletico madrid hierarchy led by Enrique Cerezo, have found a common ground and will be inking the deal in the coming days. Now, Pate has been ever present for the capital-based outfit, clocking 33 appearances and netting two goals uh, this season. So, Thomas De Pate, I think uh, he will stay put at Atletico Madrid. If any reason he was going to move to Arsenal, it was because of wages and money. And now that Atletico Madrid are offering something within his region what he wanted i think who wouldn't want to stay he has champions league football who wouldn't want to stay with that and a better deal let me know your thoughts on what you think do you think there'll be another twist where party actually moves to arsenal do you think that will happen let me know what you think in the comments box but currently atletico madrid have increased doubled his weekly wages from 65,000, they doubled it. And Thomas Party's now new release clause will be 87.2 million pounds. Should he ink uh, this a uh, new uh, deal? Let me know what you think in the comments box. I move on to my final story, it has to do with another Ghanaian player, a youngster actually, making a move to Ajax. He is Kudus Mohammed. Now, Kudus Mohammed, if you remember, he made his debut for the Ghana Black Stars in November in the AFCON 2021 qualifier against South Africa in Cape Coast. In that game, he scored a goal after coming on as a substitute. And it looks more and more likely now that he is going to join Ajax. Recently, he was nominated for the Golden Ball, part of the shortlisted players for the Golden Ball. 
and Kudus Mohammed has agreed with that side, Ajax and the club is on the brink of sealing the deal for the Black Stars midfielder. A 19-year-old will make the switch to Holland in a deal which could see him become one of the top signings for the side in the summer. According to reports, he is set to sign a five-year deal with Ajax in the coming days. A move for the former Wright to Dream Academy graduate was always on the cards following the impressive showing for FC Norgeland, where he scored 14 goals in 56 games at the Danish outfit since joining in 2018. Last month, Kudus made the 100-man shortlist for the Ballon d'Or. And this, I am extremely excited about this move for Kudus Mohammed. He is an amazing youngster and the sky surely is the starting point for him. I'm amazed and happy by this news. So that has been it for today. Talking to you about Thomas Teapati's possible move to Arsenal hitting a snag. Kudus Mohammed off to Ajax. Your thoughts in the comments box on all this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.